Hello. So we're going to talk about the signs of psychic attack. I don't have any makeup on right now. It is like 3.53 a.m. I have not slept. And I'm like, why am I doing this right now? But I feel like there's a reason for it. Like I was in bed ready to sleep and then the dogs were doing stuff and I just got up. I had a lot of dreams last night, like very long ass dreams. That's all I remember about it is because like I woke up at some point and was like, I can't believe how long that went on. And it was like a thought that I had. I don't even remember exactly what it was about. I don't think it was nightmares, but nightmares is the first sign that you have been under psychic attack. You know, psychic attack is going to attack you psychically, but it's also going to show up in your your day-to-day -day life. It will also disrupt your thoughts. You know, it will start to make you think things that because it depends on the attack. It depends on the person. It depends on what they're doing. Sometimes people will try to attack you in a way that makes you more vulnerable and makes you fall under a way of like illusion. Sometimes people do this actively with you in your life. Like when a narcissist shows up in your life and they love bomb you and they treat you a certain way and then they withdraw all of that that sets off things inside of you that makes you be like what did i do wrong how do i fix this let me get back that person that i just had all this great time with that doesn't exist you know it's like that does not exist anymore that person's not there but you're trying to get back to that so it's kind of like that but in the energetic form somebody could be like doing spell work or just wishing ill upon you and wanting the downfall of you and you can do this to yourself too. So like we don't want to like take ourselves out of the equation here because we, what we think and what we believe and what we speak is going to create our reality. So you might start thinking like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so stupid. Ba -ba -da -boo. You'll start to see the reality of that. So you want to be confident in your life and you want to be like proactive around not allowing this stuff to get to you. Headaches is another sign, you know, people send hating hate at you you're you're gonna start having some headaches you may just start having like tension you may start feeling uncomfortable you could have a lot of bad luck in your life again it depends on the way that people are directing at you some people really spend a lot of their time to do these types of things which is just insane to me because it's like don't you have enough to worry about like making your own life work but you'll find that the people who spend the time to do these things their own life is miserable or they're not happy in some sort of way. So even if they're not sitting and doing spell work, them sitting and stewing in thought about how you've wronged them or something isn't fair or whatever can go through the energy to you and start messing up things in your life. Another one is feeling cold and it's funny because I put this on and I am cold right now. And I'm like, what are we, were you gonna have me like exhibit all of the fucking traits of this right now? Feeling completely drained is another one. So if you're constantly getting cold and feeling drained and just wanting to be in bed, that could be a sign of psychic attack. If you're depressed, if you're down, you know, you may be psychically attacking yourself, but it can, on a three, 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 you could be psychically attacking yourself, but other people could be also trying to drain you or keep you from being successful or keep you from having the right thoughts and keep you from being able to show up and do what you are meant to do, whether they're actively thinking those things or actively creating spells in that way, just them disliking the fact that you're capable of doing those things can also add to that energy. So people gossiping about you is another one. So if you may not know that they are, but usually there'll be signs, especially when you're in a group of friends. Like that's another reason why I keep like to myself is because it's almost inevitable people start doing that shit they're like blah 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 they just start talking about each other when the other one's not there it's how women are it's how everybody is but it's like if you don't want to be a part of that you might as well keep yourself safe and it, and it even happens online you'll see it like in the the um like i talked about last night with the girl with the spiritual channel that's like attacking spiritual creators and everything about them not even just like their spiritual beliefs and stuff but their physical freaking way of looking the things that they're doing to their hair just all of that is crazy and the reason why i think that person's doing that is because they want views they want people to see their videos so they're using those big creators names in in such a toxic way and i'm like that is like so messed up and then 
you know, people get under the guise of what she's saying and can be, she's telling them, these people are taking you off of the path that you should be on. They're, they're taking you into the darkness. Like this is not the right way to go. And it's such a bad agenda and all of this stuff. But meanwhile, that is what she's doing. And she's doing it in such a low vibrational way that it's like, I hope people can see that. I think people can see that considering the channel's a year long and she's been consistently uploading and only has reached like 4,000 subscribers. Those 4,000 subscribers are going to be reflections of her. They're going to have those same ways of being. But she's basically psychically attacking others to benefit herself. And I saw other things that she created because I was like, who is this girl? What is she talking about? Like, what is her belief? If you, you went from calling yourself Pleiadian to something else, she had made twin flame decks for sale on the same place that I created decks on. And I'm like, you're just trying to find a quick buck. That's what she's trying to do, is what I feel. Because for me, twin flame was not that huge when I started. It just happened to be like what I started doing and it started to take off and it got big and I bowed out when I was making the most money possible like doing my work it was like okay it did not feel right to me so it's like she's trying to get into it when it's blowing up and taking off because she's trying to like find the way in and so now even stooping into the level of like attacking people who already built their business even down to attacking the way that their business is run is is such a indication of this so keep yourself safe keep your circle small don't let that stuff happen but you'll see this happen across the board like even with like when you start getting to some like people who have youtube with millions of subscribers or billions of subscribers you'll start to see like up there they all kind of like chit chat about each other it's just like what happens you know i feel like it goes all the way back in our dna to like when we used to have to have like little packs of people people get into their little packs of people and they don't like the other people for some fucked up reason we need to stop doing that but you'll see that could be an indication and you may not know it so you know maybe you'll just sense it you usually can sense it you can sense when people have been talking shit about you because they act different when they're around certain people or they like know stuff that they shouldn't fucking know like well why were they so comfortable telling you that first of all oh you should have heard what blah 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 said about you well they were saying it to you so why was that even able capable to become gotta be kind of smart too like to to notice these things like figure these things out pay attention to the signs and especially because of the covert n narcissists they are very good at being narcissists they're very good at tricking you and manipulating you and intertwining themselves into your life and, and you, know, you don't realize that they don't like you the whole time while well, they act like they're your biggest fan and it's weird and it's like sometimes they want to be you so they are like getting close to you but then the closer that they get to you, the more they realize they're not anything like you and that they can't become that because they're so different from that. They start to hate you even more and will do things to you like bully you. So bullying is another thing. If you're being bullied or you're having a lot of bad shit go on around you, you're having a lot of conflict, maybe your friends, your family, like you're having fallen out. Like I know that I was being psychically attacked that time where all of my friends just like bing, bang, boom, like made no sense it did not make any logical sense for certain people to just like disappear or get mad at me and the ways that they were getting mad at each other was like because of each other it wasn't because of me it was like oh she slept over i hate you like seriously high school girl shit that is a sign of psychic attack people not liking you being jealous of you um people projecting onto you again that's why i'm so super hyper aware of that and i don't want to do it I'm like, I sit there and I reflect as much as I can on where could I be projecting? Where could I, and even when I watched the video back from last night, <clears throat> I was like, well, maybe I did that. And it's like, I, I then I think about it, I'm like, no, I didn't do that. Like in terms of like changing my belief system, I have not changed my belief system that drastically in a way to be like, ah, like I'm gonna change my name from this and then go down this whole other path that is even more far-fetched than the one that I was on and, and hold on to this because who's to say you aren't gonna like in six months be like never mind I was completely wrong about this one too but meanwhile she's saying that all the other people are incorrect with their be the beliefs and things and that everything is a creation of AI and I'm like alright whatever 
that's, that's your reality. That's your creation. That's what you're creating right now. And if you do choose to be like, never mind with all those beliefs, the next thing will be your creation and your reality. But you don't need to tell other people what their creation and reality is or isn't and, and make it seem like they're, they're coming from bad, negative space for believing what they believe and sharing what they believe with others. Exactly what you're doing, it, you're trying to demonize other people for. And the one that you're on right now seems to be the problem. So, yeah. Um, persistent anxiety. If you are feeling anxious and you just like can't calm yourself down, your nervous system's all out of whack, it's another sign. And physical symptoms, you know, just like not feeling well, getting a upset stomach, um, feeling like, you know, things like headaches and all of that, body aches, feeling like the flu, uh, just not having your normal energy or your normal way of being can be signs. And then feeling like you're being watched. I've had that a lot, honestly. I, and I know like we'll have manifestations of that too, where you start to see like monitoring spirits. So if you feel like you're being watched, like is somebody in my phone watching me? Like I've gone so far as to like put things over my, my things when I'm not using them because I can feel being watched. And like, I'm always closing curtains. I'm always like aware, even when I go outside, even it's like, I'm always, and it's because of that energy. I'm, I'm hyper aware of energy. So, and I'm also online, right? So me feeling watched probably also connects to the fact that people are fucking watching me. Like, but that can also, you know, come into like other ways. Like, I don't really believe someone's in my phone watching me. I hope not. But like, it can feel that way sometimes when you're being attacked. And then, um, blame shifting, you know, that type of stuff, that, that type of stuff would be something that you're physically connecting with. That is that like covert narcissist stuff. That's that weird manipulative crap where they're like, they can't take any accountability. Um, like they'll come to you for something, but like no nothing you offer to them is of any value to them, but they keep coming back for you to give them something. And it's like, it's a weird mental mess. They're doing it on purpose to mess with your head. Um, so feeling doubtful is another one because you're going to start feeling doubtful. You're going to start feeling like insecure. I know I'm a victim of this from people physically and non-physically because I still exhibit those traits strong in myself where it's like, I still get like nervous or like I doubt myself and we got to be aware of that to protect ourselves, to stop doubting ourselves, to stop having that stuff happen. Sleep disturbances. I feel like they made me do this video right now just to be like a perfect, like, hey, this is the, this is the way, like, you'd be cold, you'd be anxious, if you had people watching you, like, you know, I don't feel all of these ways right now, but I feel like having me be up at like 4am doing this when I was already in bed is one of the things. So unexpected mood, cha mood changes, your ch mood may change unexpectedly you may start having like you know anger bursts or anxiety ridden like things that aren't normally yours i get getting the dingy dings over there so that's more confirmation pay attention to how you're feeling like i said the body aches and the pains the depression feeling overwhelmed um dizziness and and a spiritual imbalance or your intuition gets thrown off okay and i know the people who say like psychically attack me i think one of the things that gets mad, they get so mad about is like, that is the one thing, my intuition, they can't fuck it up. Like they haven't been able to manipulate that because it's just so, I just know. It's like, I get all the signs of synchronicity that that's the one thing I'm very fucking much confident in is like my connection to spirit and my ability to connect with it and trust it and know it. And that is like the biggest protector of it because it's like, as soon as these things start happening, I'm where okay, somebody's psychically attacking me right now, or I'm attacking myself. And I'm much aware of that, that too, because sometimes I am the one doing it. And sometimes it's other people doing it. And we have to figure that out and put up protection. So I put a bunch of um, prayers on the community board that can help you with this type of stuff. Um, you just want to direct them at whatever that it is that you feel like is going on. If you're not sure, just in general, you can direct prayer at this, start doing affirmations, take care of yourself, Keep your thoughts positive so that you're not the one that's psychically attacking yourself. Keep your energy high. Like, you know, sleep, eat. Do the things you know you need to do for your body. Take a shower with some salt. 
you know, get rid of that stuff, put up protection. I always use the Vortex. I have video on the channel about how to open the Vortex. I think there's more than one at this point where it's like how to open the Vortex. Call in sacred space, cleanse your space, keep your, like that's another thing. You'll start to notice like your space just keeps getting like cluttered and messy and it's like no matter how much you try it feels like it's getting and it, it may not even be dirty or whatever but it can feel like it's dirty or it can feel dark it can feel dingy that can also be an indication that it's time to go from wherever you're at so like i've been feeling that way here for a while is that like it's been closing in on me and it doesn't feel even the day i moved in here I'm just to be honest even the day i moved in here i felt a darkness and i was like i cried because i didn't think it was going to be an easy time here and it hasn't been um <laughs> but lately it's been getting worse it's like it's closing in on me and it's like you've got to get out of here which i have to get out of here anyway that's already it's already in motion so we're, we're going somewhere don't know where but we're going and i know that's going to be another blessing so just just go with it too like even if people are psychically attacking you like whatever dude keep doing it because i'm just going to keep transmuting it and i'm just going to keep going with the flow and i'm not going to allow it to mess me up that bad you know, and if you do fall under the, the thing where it's like, I let someone close to me and they fucking hurt me and lied to me or whatever, I'm sorry, I know, it sucks, I've had it happen so many fucking times, that is why, again, at this point in my life, the only friends that I have are like people online where there's like, I'm not seeing you regularly, we're not hanging out regularly, we're not getting to that point where it's like, you're gonna dagger me, and that's the best way I feel safe, and I think that's a part of my spiritual journey, even in my astrological chart, it's like, you do best to be by your fucking self without other people around you in all areas. Like, I've read it, and it's like, you're just better off to be alone, hermit alone. And if people don't get it, they don't fucking get it. I don't really care anymore. I'm not going to put myself in an uncomfortable position or harm myself to appease other people with what they think I should be doing because it does hurt me. It, it damages my ability to work, it damages my ability to survive, it damages my ability to fucking function as a being and feel happy. So, I feel the happiest when those things aren't, because everybody out there has that ability to go to long gray places. So, it's like, I would just rather, like, and, and I sometimes I'm like, am I, something wrong with me? Like, am I not the good person? But it's like, if that were the case, I'd be actively out there pursuing people to do it to, like they are. You know, like they're out there trying to get their claws into people and they want, why don't you want to spend time with me? Because you're evil. That's why. <laughs> like, you're just gonna, you're just gonna dagger me. You're just gonna tag me. You're making me feel all fucked up. You're gonna, you're gonna do some stupid shit and pretend like you didn't. And I'm all set. So keep your circle small. I'm not saying all people in the world are like that, but there's a lot of people out there. And I think that was one of my lessons is to realize that, put boundaries up, not get myself into circumstances with people who are like that, and, and realize that like when you are good at things and when you are somewhat, you know, capable and you you do shit, other people may not like that. Even if they do support you in some ways, they still may not like you, like if you start getting out of that vibration that they're used to you with. Like that happened in my life many times. So it was like they liked me when I was in this box, but when I broke out of that box and was doing better, some of those people went away. And then the ones that were okay with this box, when I went to the next box, they went away. And you know what? You're better off to break out of the box and keep rising up to the, the people who can tolerate you being better than the ones that want you to stay stuck and limited and no good and, you know, toxic and low vibration or miserable. Like those aren't your friends. You know, those are those are people who are adding to the fact that like your life should just be miserable. You should be sick. You should be unhappy. You should be like that's the only way I'm gonna like you is when you feel beneath me or at my same level. And as soon as you start to get better or feel better or look better or do better, I don't like you anymore. That's not a friend. Okay, so we we don't want that. So those are all signs of psychic attack, and hopefully this helps you. In Munay, Namaste.